Why do you think it is that even today, in 2013, you say women are largely invisible in technology? I think there's a couple things. There's, we, we inherit the weight of history, of inherent bias. Um, first there was conscious bias, now there's unconscious bias. Just things your brain fills in. You hear the venture capitalists talk about pattern matching. This is a really good way to recognize you know, the next young entrepreneur. But they're also pattern matching for things that they have bias in and not realizing they're doing that. So they might be more likely to fund a young white or Asian boy, man, uh, versus uh, minority. Have you, seen uh, that? have you seen that play out? Yeah, I think we see it all the time, but it's, it's less conscious. So what we have to do as an industry is, it's, it's no one's fault. It's not like anybody's actively doing this. It's just that we inherit it, we have it, it's systemic. So we need to become highly educated. We're training Googlers right now in unconscious bias, the whole company. Mm -hmm. um, once you know that, then you can act differently. Looking at your career and your trajectory, did you face bias, yeah. gender bias? I think so. One of the things that I think is really important um, is that young people don't know, young women and minorities often don't know how amazing these careers are. For some reason, when they're younger, whether it's the, the stereotypes in television, you know, people like me, engineers, women engineers, don't exist in children's television. In fact, my own grandfather, I come from a long line of engineers. And when I decided to go to MIT and do engineering, he said to my mom, well, why would she want to do that? From your grandfather? Yeah, and he had built uh, you know, much of the transportation in Indiana and bridges. So and you faced it from an steel. early age. Oh, yeah. And so later when I graduated, he couldn't have been more proud. So people can come full circle, but they don't think of young women doing these careers. And that's one of the things we have to shift. If you're hiring for a role and there's 10 characters you need, women will typically uh, only apply if they have seven and men will apply if they have three of the characteristics. So as a manager, huh. you just need to be conscious of that. So you need to notice a whole bunch of people are going to be running at you who might not have as much qualifications as someone who's not raising their hand. Right. So just be conscious of that and look at all the candidates and do a little more active work to make sure that you've got the best pool that you're going to then uh, put into that job. What have you seen that has told you we need diversity in our groups to be successful? Diverse teams just make better products. It's, you know, people measure patents that are written by men and women are cited more often, which is a measure to mm. know whether the patent is better. Um, so the research is there, it's emerging, and uh, we need to do it in uh, companies with more diversity at the leadership level, both minorities and women have better financial performance. We know Google X for quote unquote moonshot technologies, uh -huh. right? And we know, we don't know a lot of the things that are happening in the secret Google X lab. We know some of them that have come out, the driverless car, I think you said you've driven it's been driven half a million miles. Yes, half a million autonomous Google miles. Glass. How do you say, yes, that's a concept we're just going to try? Or do you never say no? Do you say why not? <laughs> I, I think we do a lot of why not. We also have two other public projects, Project Loon, which is the balloons in the stratosphere to mm -hmm. bring the internet to the edges, and also a group called Makani that's doing uh, kite-based windmills. windmills. Wind right? is much stronger, much higher. Can we get better efficiency for energy high, production? High wind uh, production. So I think it's... it's um, you know, sort of in that same spirit of Elon Musk, where you're looking at basic physics and saying, is this physically possible? Not what people are saying about whether it's possible or not, but what's the math and science behind whether something is possible? And really, you know, people in, in our world are driven by how can we make an impact on the world that would make a difference? What would be really helpful for humanity? What would be better for the environment? And are there technologies that are on the horizon? Mm -hmm. They sound like science fiction, but we actually, you know, could bring them to bear. Have you ever been told no? You can't try that. It's not going to work. Um, yeah, in lots of cases, pe people say that, but you, you kind of have to go around it. You find teammates. You know, go find other people that you can work with.